show you how to get this headband braid and it's done with four braids in the style of a snake braid. For this video, I'll be using some hair extensions to help my braids look thicker. Since I'll be making four individual braids, without the help of the hair extension, my braid will look thin. So the brand of hair extensions I'm using is by Bellamy. These are from the Guy 10 collection in the 220 grams, 22 inches. I will have all the information down below. I'll be making another video talking more about the hair extensions and how long I've had them for. I'm going to use the Ion Lux Opulent Shine Cream and apply it all over my hair. Also, don't forget to add it to your hair extensions. And I'll be using the 1.5 inch weft, and I'll be using all four. I'm also gonna be using the Ion Keratin Dry Oil Mist. I'm gonna spray some of that oil on my roots and then to the tips. Again, don't forget to do the same thing to your hair extensions. rat tail comb you don't need it but it's just so I can get a precise line and I'm gonna section out a large portion of hair from the middle and I'll be using a clip to keep it out of the way still using the rat tail comb I'm taking about one inch of hair and moving it over to the side Then I'm grabbing my hair extension and clipping them on. You can tease your hair if you want so then your extension has a better grip and it's more secure. But I don't like teasing my hair. So as you can see, I'm putting the clip against my head and kind of rotating it around in a circle and then clipping it in. This technique works great for me. It, I never have an issue doing this and my hair extension never slips out. I'm trying to explain this as best as I can possibly can. I do apologize if this doesn't make sense. Hope you get the idea by just watching the video. Now do the same to the other side. So now I'm grabbing a section that has an extension and I'm also going to be grabbing a little bit more hair from under the extension. So when we bring that braid over our head, you can't see the clip. Split the section into three parts and make a loose braid. So once you get to the end of the braid, you want to hold the middle strand on one hand and then the two side strands with the other. Then with the hand you are holding the two strands, you want to slide it up. If you slide it all the way up to the roots, you will see it looks tight. I'm going to move it down a little bit to loosen it up. You don't want the braid to look too tight. Here I'm just making sure it's the way I want it to be and I have enough length to make the headband look. Once you have it to your liking, you can add an elastic to it, but I'm just adding a bobby pin to hold it into place. You do whatever makes you feel more comfortable. Now you want to grab the second section and repeat the same steps. Once you've done all four braids, you want to take the clip out of your hair that we sectioned out. And you want to split it down the middle. As you see, I'm making sure some of that hair that I sectioned out falls in between the braids. So now onto the fun part. We will start laying out the braid to make the headband. I'm going to start by adding bobby pins to the braid, but near the roots first. 
just so it can lay in place and not move when I place the other braid. And then I do the same to the next section, placing bobby pins to the beginning of the braid. Once you finish one side, you want to move on to the other side. But before we start placing bobby pins on the root of the other side of the braid, we're going to secure the tip. Just like so. And then I do the same to the other section. Don't be afraid to use as many bobby pins as you need. You want to make sure the braids are insecure, so then when the headband is done, nothing falls out of place. Now that the braids are in place, you want to grab your brush and brush out the strands that are left from the braid. As you see, my tips are the lightest. It does look a little dramatic, but I like it that way. Depending on your hair color or texture of hair, this hairstyle will look different on you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really tried my best explaining every single step. Hope you guys liked it. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram page and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.